Hey, welcome everybody to Straight Out the Kitchen with Honey Bee. Let's see what's on the menu. Chicken wings. I will start getting into the black pepper crunch. Yeah, I'm just like we need to make sure that we do. Let's make sure there's no feathers left on our chicken wings. So I'm gonna pluck that off and check out the rest of them, move them to the bowl and give them a good washing with a little white vinegar, just a little, and cold water and some salt, okay? And then we're gonna let that marinate for me to 30 minutes. Make sure it's all washed and clean real good. And then that next step, we will make sure that we cut these chicken wings into their flats and drummy parts. And um, all right, that, fam, so with that is ready. the chicken is resting in its uh, cleaning solution, I'm gonna go ahead and get the seasoning things together. These are the items I will be placing in this bowl to get ready to um, season my chicken wings, okay? So after I get all these items, yes, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, then I will come back with the seasoned cut chicken. Here's our seasoning. So I am going to put a half a tablespoon of my chicken bouillon flavoring. I'm going to put one complete package of the ranch seasoning inside of this bowl, our seasoning bowl. One complete package of that. Next, I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of the cornstarch and a tablespoon of the bacon powder. There we go. It's in there and let's do just a little more. Just a little pinch. There we go. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. The next, I am going to put in some garlic powder, and this, my family loves garlic powder, so I am definitely throwing that in. And by the way, I'm trying to do this with one hand, so if it looks a little off, please forgive me. Just working with what I have. Now, here's our onion powder, or big onion powder bands. Throw in a little paprika. And we're also going to shake in some parsley flakes, some dry parsley flakes. Now, off camera, I'm going to do the black peppercorn and the sea salt. There's no way I can do that with both with one hand. So after that, I will come back and show you what it looks like um, all mixed up. All right, there we go. All right, fam. We're now at the part where all the chicken has been cut, has been tripled washed and cleaned. My prep area has been re-sanitized and re-cleaned. I also added some Creole seasoning, some Tony's, inside of our seasoning bowl. And to go ahead and start preheating our oven, okay? So we are going to turn it on. We're going to do 370. Five. We're going to let this baby preheat and warm up. Our pan is ready. And while that is going, our chicken is in the semi-drying bowl, as I call it. Um, it's getting just a little dry. Um, and before I add the seasoning, I will damp it dry with paper towel to make sure it's all dry ready for the season bowl and then I'll come back and then show you what it looks like laid out on the cooking pan all right Here we all go. right guys we are ready for the oven all the wings are seasoned ready to go next step after the oven we're going to um, let it cook for 25 minutes then we'll take them out flip them over cook for another 25 minutes and then I'm gonna also raise that heat to 425. I'll see you when I get out. Well, we're looking at this in the first 30 minutes. I am now turning all the wings over.
over and then we're gonna pop it back inside of the oven for another 30 minutes on this next side and then I will come back and show you the next sip all right here we go I'm turning looking good we are looking good let's see how we're looking within the next 30 all right feeling about these babies are going to be delicious. I am seeing a little juice at the bottom. That will be cooking out because I am going to throw it on the bottom rack instead of the middle rack. And that's just going to help those little juices that we have so far. Render it down. That way it will not affect that crunchy skin that we're looking for. Okay. I think I have one more to turn. Looks like everybody has been flipped. And now let's get it. Okay. Alright, fellas. Back in you go. Alright, the meal is done. Wings are done. They look great. We have bush baked beans. We also have mac and cheese. And just to top it off, we also have good old, old cornbread. Yeah. My plate is about to get made. Family, See, here's your girl's plate. Looking good. Oh, I can't wait to take a bite of this. Oh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little step-by-step, -step, a little bit more in-depth. But as always, take care of each other and have a kind word for someone else. Peace, love, and have grease. Peace. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.